Long before vote counting was finished, the party of former Catalan leader Carles Puigdemont was celebrating victory. This is a heroic result, not only for us, but for the whole independentist movement. Um, we are in a campaign of fear, of repression, uh, and uh, having maintained this result, it's amazing. Uh, we've always uh, trust the Catalan people, we've always trusted democracy, and here we are. We have finally won, and after all, after, after uh, voting on the, on the 1st of October, last year, on, on the elections, finally we have won for the fourth time. Along with the two other separatist parties, Together for Catalonia has a narrow majority, 70 out of 135 seats. From his exile in Brussels, Puigdemont said it was a black day for Spain's central government. The Spanish state has been defeated. Rajoy and his allies have lost and have received a slap in the face from the Catalan people. They have lost the plebiscite through which they wanted to legalize their coup d'etat through Article 155. Prime Minister Rajoy has failed in Catalonia. But the pro-Madrid camp was also celebrating victory. The Citizens' Party, which opposes independence, emerged as the single biggest party with 37 seats. Now it too wants to form a coalition government. Today, we have sent a message to the world that the majority of Catalans feel Catalan, Spanish and European, and will continue to do so. And the nationalist parties can never again claim they speak for all Catalonians, because we are all Catalonia. With rival groups declaring victory, this election has seemingly done nothing to end Catalonia's political deadlock. But it has made one thing eminently clear. The independence movement is not going away.